I'm pleased to welcome you to a special edition of Military Makeover. It's our Operation Career. This is Gunnery Sergeant R. Lee Ermey. We're showcasing education and employment opportunities that place a premium on the experience and character of those who have served our country. You're going to meet four remarkable veterans. Chantal Coleman, a young mother who was a Navy corpsman. Now that's a tough job. Now she's pursuing a career in healthcare outside the military. Grobert Fuentes. He witnessed the planes hitting the World Trade Center when he was just 12 years old. At that young age, he vowed to fight. And when he was old enough, he signed up. He fought in the wars that followed as a combat photographer. Mike Caraballo carried forward a family tradition of military service. Mike has served 34 years in the Army Reserves. And U.S. Navy Lieutenant Mark Schroen, a young man who set his sights on a Navy career when he was just in elementary school. He's achieved his goal, and then some. Training, experience, character, exactly what we're looking for in our future business leaders. Welcome to Operation Career. You know, we have some very amazing businesses in this country. High tech, medical, best in class. And within that high tech class, there are those who provide the world's finest armed forces with what they need to fight and win. Our top of the line defense contractors need the best talent and they find it when they recruit veterans who attended our outstanding military academies. In this case, the Naval Academy at Annapolis. To develop midshipmen morally, mentally, and physically, to imbue them with the highest ideals of duty, honor, and loyalty in order to provide graduates who are dedicated to a career of naval service and that potential future development of mind and character to assume the highest ideals of command, citizenship, and government. My inspiration to join the Navy started at a very young age. Uh, my mother was a career commissioned officer, and so I was always around the uniform. I was always around military installations. In the fourth grade in Montgomery County, Maryland, all schools take a class trip to Annapolis. It's our state government capital, and it also is home to the United States Naval Academy. Walking around the yard, as we call it, I looked around and said, this is great. I'm going to go here, I'm going to be a Naval officer. I graduated the Naval Academy in 2008 and was commissioned an ensign in the United States Navy and service selected surface warfare. As a surface warship officer, Mark served on multiple warships in the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. Conducting counter piracy operations off the Horn of Africa, we intercepted a pirate action group that was responsible for at least a half a dozen hijackings. Um, they're not conducting hijackings anymore. Lidos is very committed to hiring veterans for many reasons. First and foremost, they absolutely share the mission. They are so passionate about protecting our nation. Transitioning off of active duty is an exciting time, whether you spent four years an initial contract or 40 years and you're retiring as a four-star admiral or general. At the same time that it's exciting and terrifying, it's fun. Uh, you take off the uniform at what point and you move forward. One of the best things about Lidos is we have a built-in reference system for any job. You want to find out what's the culture like, what's the people like, what will be the experience. The best way to do that is with someone you've worked with, someone who you trust. So that's our biggest avenue to bring in vets to the corporation. I came to be at Lidos through an excellent academy connection as I was transitioning off active duty. said, you know, Mark, you would be a really great fit here at Lidos. Let's get together and chat. And now here I am. Lidos, a global leader in information technology, engineering, medicine, and science. 
The nature of work that we do, we do a lot of work with defense and intel customers where it's absolutely critical that we have um, secure information, information that can't be shared with the general public. So 40% of our employee base have security clearances. Of that 40%, 71% are top secret and above. So when the military personnel come in and join our company, they're already one step ahead. The teamwork that is inherent in being in the military and serving your nation is also very much embodied here at Lidos. Lidos continuously leverages the science and technology and the engineering and the very forward thinking and quite frankly brilliant people that I have the opportunity to work with on my team and others to routinely provide exceptional solutions. Lidos does an active outreach to the spouses of veterans, sometimes hiring both. We also know that the spouses, they actually learn the culture, they, they learn the customers, they're affiliated with the mission, and they really feel the value of the mission. So we really like to get the family members here as well. Lighthouse has 32,000 employees. One out of five, 20%, served in the military. 3,200 Lighthouse hires in the last two years are either vets or spouses of vets supporting reserve and guard commitments. You know, they go above and beyond as, you know, it, it might be a little difficult leaving the project or program that you're on to go spend a week or two at annual training. But Lidos has the support systems in place to make it as seamless as possible. They do a great job with their veteran outreach, with veteran interaction within the company. We actually have a program called the MVP program, which is the Military Veteran Outreach Program. We have dedicated professionals who actually their job is to not only recruit and create pipelines for not only vets, but their family members, but also to help them transition into our business world. We have a special military website. It's just exclusively for our veterans to apply to. It has tips in there. It speaks in their language, makes it much easier for them to apply to jobs. We have seven employee resource groups like Women's Network, African American Network. Um, MAG, Military Alliance Group, is totally focused on our military vets. It's a combination of vets, people who are affiliated with vets, maybe a family member, and then advocates for vets. I would tell another veteran that Lidos is extremely veteran friendly, whether it's defense and intelligence, whether it's civil, whether it's healthcare, and all of those opportunities are open to everyone. I couldn't be more appreciative to be on Operation Career. It's a great opportunity for us to really reinforce how we value our veterans and to talk about our military veterans outreach program. We absolutely feel that the veterans are core to what we do at Lidos. There are a diverse set of opportunities, almost without limit. If you think you want to do it, chances are you can do it at Lidos. Dedication and hard work, two traits that our veterans have an unlimited supply of. Recognizing veterans as a unique source of valuable employees is the sign of a smart company. Wells Fargo is a world-class business committed to hiring and retaining military veterans. At Wells Fargo, we value our military not only as customers, but also for the skills that they bring as potential team members. Having great talent is really important for us as a bank, and we currently have about 8,500 veterans who have self-identified as veterans. Mike Caraballo followed in his father's footsteps, carrying forward a family tradition of military service. Mike served 34 years in the Army Reserves and deployed to Iraq. My father retired after 27 years of, of active service and serving in Korea and in Vietnam. As a nine-year-old boy, going to his retirement ceremony it was just very impactful for me to sit there and watch, you know, these thousands of soldiers, you know, hearing the, you know, the salutes and, and just all pomp and circumstance of the ceremony just was very impactful for me where afterwards I said, like, you know, I, I want to be part of that. Mike has spent his entire career as a reservist, splitting time between family, a profession, and being a soldier. 
My family is from, from the island of Puerto Rico, and the military installation there is Fort Buchanan. And so my father and my uncle entered service uh, through Fort Buchanan. I had the fortunate ability to take command of a brigade, and that brigade was at Fort Buchanan. Uh, so I was able to serve there for two years. It was very special, you know, chilling to walk the same areas that I know that my dad trained when he first entered in, in the late 40s. To be in the same place and finish my command tenure in that same place was just indescribable. It's a constant state of transition as a reservist because you serve every month, you know, with your monthly battle assemblies. Here at Wells Fargo, you know, they've been very supportive um, as an organization. So they've provided you know, different benefits and support from, from time off, you know, guaranteed employment for, you know, when, when you're gone on mobilization and, and return. So it gives a sense of security for, for financial and for family. Our recruiting team includes recruiters who are veterans themselves. They're wonderful for being able to talk about the experience of moving from a military environment to the corporate world and to understand the jobs that are available and how the skills translate. We have a big commitment right now underway that we're committed to hiring 20,000 veterans by 2020. Wells Fargo's commitment to hiring veterans includes initiatives in recruiting, providing training and apprenticeships, and support through scholarships and grants to continue or complete their education. Ed, that's $10,000 from Wells Fargo so you can continue your education and get your master's. Scholarship America is a great program for vets looking to advance their post-secondary education, providing scholarships of up to $10,000 a year for four years for veterans or spouses of disabled veterans with Wells Fargo's help and support. In addition, sometimes situations arise that are unanticipated and so we have an emergency grant program for veterans as well. A year ago, Wells Fargo launched Apprenticeship USA, which is a Department of Labor certified program. It's a wonderful program for transitioning veterans. They can come to Wells Fargo and learn skills on the job and they get to use their GI Bill for educational supplement to their Wells Fargo salary. Wells Fargo has created its own internal veterans team network to welcome and help newly hired veterans and their families, and to also support veterans outreach efforts in their communities. The Enterprise Veteran Team Member Network has 31 active chapters across the country. It's a volunteer team member organization that supports veterans. So it's our team members volunteer that can either be veterans or just folks that want to support veterans. And then we look at supporting our, our veteran population through networking. Uh, we use our veteran team member network to help sponsor new veterans. So when they come in, which is a very familiar uh, experience, you join a new unit, usually you have a sponsor. They kind of teach you the ropes, where, you know, where to go on the new base, things of that nature. We try to emulate that by branch if possible. Um, so there's some, some camaraderie. Veterans to network with other veterans allows them to fulfill that kind of that same you know, bond. My family was very committed to military and many in our family served and so for me being able to be in a position where I can help provide the next opportunity at Wells Fargo for transitioning military really is a great personal satisfaction as well. Operation Career, serving those who have served and sacrificed for our country, focusing on the opportunities and support they need to build a bright future. The training our armed forces receive is often unique and always second to none. That includes our corpsmen and medics, an incredibly tough job, and combat photographers who in the heat of battle have to make a choice between a camera or a gun. Seeing the second plane hit the World Trade Center on 9-11 when he was just 12 years old, Grover Fuentes told himself he was going to join the military and make a difference. Being a combat photographer, you have to choose if you're going to pick up your camera or your weapon, and it's ultimately up to you. Caring for her critically ill grandmother pointed Chantal Coleman in the direction of the Navy, where she became a medical corpsman. My passion to 
um, pursue a career in healthcare was because my grandmother was sick for some time. She has a incurable disease. So my father suggested that I join the military. When I heard of corpsmen and they explained to me what a corpsman does, I said, that's what I want to do. A premier example of a school that understands the needs of veterans is Berkeley College. Berkeley College is committed to the success of their military and veteran students. Really look at them as individuals and each with their own special needs and circumstances. Transition is not easy. Transition is very difficult but the school transition was extremely easy because of Berkeley College. I started the process while I was still in the military, still in Texas. So as soon as I drove across country, I came here and a week later I'm sitting in class. I had difficulty finding a job at first. So I said, you know, why don't I use my GI Bill and go to school and pursue a degree? Employers are often looking for college degrees as a prerequisite to employment. So we want to help veterans take that experience see if we can give them credit for prior learning. We want to blend that with the classwork that we have available and work together with veterans to help them achieve their goals. The veteran student is really looking for a flexible situation. They have competing interests in life. There's jobs, their families. There are, of course, military commitments and so forth. We'll work very closely with those students to make sure that they do have the flexibility that they need to maintain their commitments and also focus on their schoolwork. I have a one-year-old daughter and uh, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Initially, I was taking classes on campus only, but once I had the little one, I decided that I needed to spend more time with her. We have the Office of Military and Veteran Affairs and that office is accessible to students on site as well as online. We actually have an online Veterans Resource Center. I would go to the Veteran Resource Center or to the office and just talk to anybody there and they know exactly what I'm going through and I know what they're going through. Berkeley features both brick and mortar campuses and one of the most highly regarded online education programs in the country. I have four classes that I'm taking with Berkeley College, three online and one on campus. So in 2018, Berkeley College Online is celebrating 20 years of online learning, a uh, very proud milestone. And to that accolade, we add our USDLA Quality Standards Certification. Receive that, we were one of a handful of schools worldwide to receive that recognition. We also have received from US News and World Report multiple times the best online bachelor's degree designation. We have also received best online program for veterans as well. Berkeley Online currently has programs in 12 different disciplines, offering both associates and bachelor's degrees and a master's program in business management to achieve an MBA. So the online program uh, really does provide a level of adaptability and flexibility for students. I got a degree at Berkeley College in Marketing and Communications. Berkeley College definitely gave me the foundation I needed to start my business. In fact, I launched Fit Lifestyle Box while I was still at Berkeley. So it was a win-win situation because I brought real world uh, questions and scenarios to my professors. Berkeley College Online is a great option for veterans because they have the type of experience that works well when it's blended with a curriculum like ours in order to achieve success in their careers. So veterans who are graduating from the program will have lifetime career assistance from Berkeley College, which means that at any point after they graduate from Berkeley, they can return to us, they can return to our career services office, and we can pick up where we left off and help them transition to the next step. Berkeley College empowers military personnel and their family members stationed all over the country and the world with the ability to finish their education and get their degree online, no matter where they are. We believe that they've done so much for our country that we want to help them do even more in their careers. There is no greater reward than the inspiration and satisfaction that comes from helping a veteran. Hoorah! This is Gunny saying, take a vet to lunch. Hell, long as you're feeding him, you might as well give him a job. Simplify.